Hello, Balloon World. I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd. And today I want to teach you how to make a one balloon teddy bear. This is a classic balloon animal. Just about every balloon twister knows how to make it. And just about every balloon twister hates it. Not because it's not a great balloon animal, but because when you're first learning how to make balloon animals, those pinch twists are very difficult. Lots of balloons are popped. So if you're new to balloon twisting and it pops on you, welcome to the club. But let me walk you through how we do it. First thing you're gonna need is your 260 balloon. I'm gonna be using blue. So get your balloon and you're gonna to wanna to inflate it about halfway. The good news is, is that once you master the teddy bear head, it's used in so many different creations. I use the same head for when I make my lions and tigers and cats and yes, teddy bears too. All right, first we're gonna start off by twisting a small bubble, about one inch. That's gonna be the nose of the teddy bear. Next we're gonna twist two bubbles, each about half an inch. This is gonna be the back of the teddy bear's head. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but it does help. The next step is we're gonna twist five bubbles, all the same size, and a little bit over an inch, but you know, roughly an inch. To help with this, what I like to do is I'll give the balloon a squeeze, make sure it's nice and soft. Then I count out five bubbles. Now I'm gonna save you some trouble here because if you over twist this, it'll actually help you later. Because one of the primary flaws that I had when I first started is I wouldn't give it enough twist in this part of the teddy bear. And when I would pinch twist it years later, the air would leak back into the cheeks or into the forehead, and the ear would just sort of deflate on me as I try to pinch twist it, which caused me a lot of trouble. So we're gonna over twist this by counting to 10. So we're gonna do five bubbles, each with a count of 10 as we twist it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You can do that four more times. There we go. Now, if they're not all the same size, that's okay. You want them roughly the same size and you want them about an inch, but if they're a little bit bigger and not exactly even, that's okay. But there we have our five bubbles. One, two, three, four, five. Five bubbles, ah, ah, ah. And I'll use that joke all the time. Now we're gonna twist this section here where those two small bubbles meet at the beginning of that loop of five that we made to this section here where the five end. And we're gonna twist it over and twist it right there. Now that should make this loop here of five bubbles with a hole that goes right through the middle. We're gonna take that nose that we made, the first bubble we twisted, and we're gonna thread it through that hole. So you should look something like this. Now we're gonna grab this balloon here, which is one of the teddy bear ears. This is the hard part. You're gonna pull it out and you're gonna twist it in like that. Do it again with this ear over here. You're gonna grab it, you're gonna pull it, and twist. Now if that pops on you, welcome to the club. You're beginning your member's pin and jacket soon. I'm just kidding, there's no jacket for popping balloons. You just get a pop the balloon. That's the gift you get, yeah, okay. Now those two bubbles that we twisted there in the back, those help position the nose in the front. Some people will just use one bubble, but what I found will happen is that the teddy bear's nose will go up or go down or left or right because it doesn't sit nice. By putting two bubbles in there, in the back, I can adjust it and sit the nose however I like. Next up we do is the neck. Twist a small bubble, about half an inch. Now the next step is something that I like to do, but it is optional, it's up to you. I add a pinch twist after this to help position the neck later on. So we're gonna twist another small bubble, about half an inch, and we're gonna pinch twist that by folding it over and pinch twisting it. And that helps the neck sit however I want it to do. Next step is we're gonna twist the, uh, the arms. That's gonna be four bubbles. You're gonna twist a section about an inch and a half to two inches. Another bubble about half an inch, another half inch bubble, and another bubble about inch and a half to two inches. Okay, now these two here should be roughly the same size, and these two here should be roughly the same size. If they're not perfectly the same size, 
don't worry. We just don't want one to be dramatically longer than the other. Oh, the next step is where the pinch twist is here. We twist it in to where we ended the twist here. And there we go. We have the upper arms of our teddy bear. Now you can already see that that pinch twist there in the back is holding the neck up and I can position it where I need it to go to make the teddy bear look whichever way I want it to look, which is important because, you know, teddy bear is only cute if he's looking towards you. It's not all that cute when he's looking like this. I know I'm cute when I look like that, but not teddy bears. All right. Now we make the body. The body is going to be a section about as long as the, the arms are. And if you've done a dog, you know the next step. It's the dog legs or the lock twist. Two legs of equal size. You should have just a little bit of a tail there on the end. You know, a little bubble for the teddy bear's tail. If you have slack there, uh, let some air out so you have, can get a knot. And then we'll make that into a pinch twist. But I have it just the right amount of size. So I'm going to twist this section here into this section here. Once again, these two should be roughly the same size. But if they're not, it's not that big a deal unless it looks dramatically off. See, there we go. One one balloon teddy bear in blue. Yeah, favorite color blue, especially when they're out of red. Okay. Once again, I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more free balloon instructions or for paid balloon instructions, I don't actually pay for balloon instructions. For more balloon instructions, feel free to go to balloon-animals.com.